In this video, we will examine how the expanding interconnection of computing devices, referred to as the Internet of Things, is expanding the amount of data that is being generated. Combined with big data and cloud, the Internet of Things will enable an exponential increase in autonomy. According to Gartner, there will be nearly 26 billion devices on the Internet of Things by the year 2020. The increase of autonomy combined with the increased number of connected devices will propel revenue to new heights. According to the IDC, the Internet of Things is expected to grow from 4.8 trillion in 2012 to 8.9 trillion in the year 2020. The applications for IoT are vast. Applications for the Internet of Things include Environmental monitoring, utilize sensors to monitor air quality, water quality, and other environmental conditions. Infrastructure management, utilize sensors to monitor bridges, railway tracks, and other infrastructure. Industrial applications, utilize sensors for the manufacturing of equipment, situational management, and other industrial applications. Energy management, utilize sensors for the integration and sensing of vital energy consumption devices such as switches, power outlets, and light bulbs. Medical and healthcare, utilize sensors to enable remote health management and emergency notification systems such as wearable heart monitors, transport systems. Utilize sensors to improve transportation metrics by monitoring traffic, electronic toll collection systems, and fleet management. Applications for the Internet of Things will raise security issues. Since the Internet of Things is being developed rapidly, there are significant challenges involved in securing the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things provides plenty of upside potential for increases in function and autonomy. With all this potential revenue, it is paramount to initiate a cybersecurity solution to prepare for this inevitable increase. Anti technology solutions include endpoint security, virtual local area networks, resilient networking principles, data driven protocols, and management protocols. Endpoint security is an approach to network protection that requires each IoT device on a corporate network complies with certain standards before network access is granted. In the past, endpoints have included PCs, laptops, smartphones, and tablets. But increasingly into the future, it will include things such as thermostats, light bulbs, watches, glasses, and potentially any physical object. One key thing to keep in mind is when to use intelligent endpoints over non-intelligent endpoints. Non-intelligent endpoints allow fewer resources and easier maintenance. However, putting intelligence into IoT endpoints can allow for faster responses at the endpoints and for less bandwidth requirements. As the Internet of Things moves forward, there will be an increased need for intelligent endpoints, which requires investments in resource and maintenance to ensure endpoint security. Devices that do not comply with endpoint security can be quarantined to a VLAN, also known as a virtual local area network. Make sure to only communicate via VPN, use complex passwords with double authentication, and have IoT devices on VLAN and PCs on WLAN. Perhaps most importantly, IoT in the enterprise needs to be built with resilient networking principles in mind.
Designing a resilient IP network depends on variables such as resources, constraints, and funds. On a resilient network, the user shouldn't even notice if a cable snaps or a switch becomes inoperable. Initiate three protocols to increase resiliency. Run spanning tree to avoid loops and create multiple VLANs to make use of spare links. Configure link aggregation by installing multiple links between two devices. And tune routing protocols to offer resilience within the network. When designing a resilient network, there are two principles that you need to take into consideration, simplicity and modularity. Simplicity. Do not provision more redundant components than required as this can result in more outages. Modularity. Segment the network into more manageable, smaller components and isolate problems within a module. Modularity comprises of core, access, internet, WAN, and data center. Core, the module that links the rest of the modules. Access, the module in which the user interfaces with the network. Internet, the module that connects the entire network to the internet. WAN, the module that connects remote branches. Data Center, the module that connects all the servers. In addition to building a resilient modular network, there are three protocols to consider in distributing a data-driven intelligence across an IoT cloud environment. These include operational economies of scale, functional breadth of scope, and real-time interaction. Operational economies of scale. Deploy storage, compute, and memory intensive IoT analytics on a cloud centralized server. The centralized deployment model describes the optimal role for most of your data warehouse, Hadoop, and other big data platforms. Functional breadth of scope. When managing complex endpoints for car and HVAC systems, it is best for the centralized server to only deal with locally sourced variables relevant to those analytics that have community-wide ramifications. Real-time interaction. Benefit from distributing local contextual analytics to build your IoT cloud with slimmed down MapReduce models driving predictive optimization at edge nodes while more centralized nodes execute other MapReduce models on analytics with varying latency requirements. In addition to creating a resilient network, CIOs can layer management protocols, including user education, master data management, mobile application management, data segmentation, and business process networks. User education is a proactive means of securing any type of environment through user training and education. Master data management is a discipline to ensure uniformity, accuracy, stewardship, semantic consistency, and accountability. Mobile application management differs from master data management by providing software to provision, control, and access company-provided and BYOD devices. Data segmentation. Create solutions that allow individual partitions on the user's device so that you can segment your application, data, and network access to only allow authorized users. Business Process Network Develop BPN configurations to concentrate on perimeter security rather than focus on application security. The Internet of Things will require more database analysts with combined specialties in big data, cloud, and cybersecurity. 
Supporting these critical applications for the Internet of Things places new challenges to IoT operators and cloud service providers. Leveraging cybersecurity solutions early on in the IoT development cycle will maintain revenue stream and mitigate potential losses. If you would like further information regarding cybersecurity in your enterprise, feel free to email us at info at angietechnologies.com with cybersecurity information request in the subject of the email. Click in the description below for information regarding our capabilities. Click on the two images toward the right to take you to our landing pages to see our digital pamphlet. Or feel free to call us at 214-383-4611.